Hey there, welcome along to this more in-depth review of Crystal Sound. Now, Crystal Sound has gone through a number of updates since I did my first testing. And let's talk about what Crystal Sound is supposed to do. It is supposed to cut out background noise and make your voice sound better. So imagine you're in a coffee shop, you're on a meeting, it should cut out all of that background noise. Now, a couple of things. I'm lucky because my office is really quiet. So I don't really need to use crystal sound at the moment. But what if I were to put on music or I had a colleague sitting beside me? How is that going to affect my voice? Well, what can happen is the microphone can pick up a lot of that background noise and make it very hard for people to hear what you're saying if you're on a Zoom call or you're on any type of conferencing call. So the idea behind this software is that it allows you to work from anywhere and it will cut out the noise. Now, before we get into Crystal Sound, let's talk about the competition. The competition or the competitor for me would be crisp.ai. I've dropped a link to crisp.ai in the actual description. I bought Crisp on a lifetime deal and uh, Crystal Sound is also on a lifetime deal at the moment, but Crisp has matured a lot over the last couple of well, months or, or years, I can't remember how long I have it. And to the point of, I'd never really heard myself on Crisp or heard what it, how good it was in a very busy background until I had a call with a, uh, a colleague and she was in a busy Starbucks and I couldn't hear any of the background noise. Now, crisp.ai has evolved in that it has AI note taking, which means that it will actually take notes and it will actually then give you a summary of your calls, which is really good. Crystal Sound is new. I mean, they launched uh, their offer on AppSumo and a lifetime deal, and they had a couple of issues, but they've started to resolve those issues. So it does two things, and this is very important. It will remove background noise on the fly, as in, as you're talking, or you can upload audio, and it will remove the background noise from a pre-recorded audio. Now, I've been talking to the founder and what he told me was that doing it on the fly is obviously a lot more difficult because it has to try and see well, what type of noise could be coming next. And sometimes, and this happened with Crisp, that sometimes it will actually drop out pieces of your voice. Now, when you have a pre-recorded piece of audio it's much easier for it to remove the sound completely and not distort the quality of your voice because it can hear the overall background noise and then make a better judgment. So that's the first thing to remember that when you're using one of these noise cancelling programs, it, it may cut your voice a little bit because it's trying to adjust to different sounds. Okay, the first thing that I've found is you have to make sure that you set this up correctly. So let me just show you my Mac screen here. Now, one of the things that I've found is as I start to hit record, for whatever reason, my Mac puts the volume up really high. And that's the first thing that I always check to make sure that once I've started to record, I put the volume down to midway. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of distortion. And that's not a problem of crystal sound. It's just something on my Mac at the moment. Now, if I go up here to Crystal Sound, there's a number of options I have. The first one is my voice only. Now, as you can see, it will filter out other voices aggressively to keep only your voice, but it may affect your voice and it may sound different from usual. And it says this feature is best used only when there are other speakers in the background. So if you have a lot of other speakers, if you're in a busy office, this may be a really good option to cut out everybody else's voice. However, remember that putting on this option will make it more aggressive in how it filters out the other noise. So that could mean that your voice will be affected. Now the standard setting here is just that you set up your microphone uh, as the external microphone, this one, and the external headphones, and that's it. And this is what you're hearing at the moment. Um, if I go into my configuration here, you will actually see that it is actually picking up the crystal sound microphone from here. Now, let's add a little bit of noise here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the proclaimers 
I'm going to be 500 miles. I've put that on now, and you should hear that there's a little bit of a sound from the music, but it's not a huge amount. Okay. So you should, you should, you, you'll hear my voice clear, but you'll hear maybe just a little pop, pop, pop here and there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a test where I'm going to, um, put on some background music and I'm just going to switch to normal microphone. Let's try with just the external mic. I'm not putting it through any filter here and let's put on the song again. And what you're going to hear is that you can definitely hear the music and it's going to be very distracting because you'll hear the music and then you'll hear me with the crystal sound on. It's going to cut out all of that. So what do you think? Let me know what you think of the difference. Um, I mean, do you hear my voice much clearer? Let me just pause the music there. I mean, this is now without the crystal sound. Do you hear it clearer? Do you think that when the crystal sound is on, it makes me sound a little bit robotic as that has been a complaint in other softwares at the beginning that they made you sound like that. Let me know in the comments below, but don't go anywhere because we're going to continue with our review. Now, just as I was editing the video, I was comparing the sound and definitely the sound, I do sound different when Crystal is on, but it definitely cuts out all of that background noise. I mean, you hear little pops, little pops from the proclaimers. But when I have Crystal off and I'm just going through this headset, with the NTH100M, which I love, my voice sounds just slightly different. So I definitely do think crystal sound cuts out that noise. And as I said, I'm very lucky because my uh, office is quite quiet at the moment. Now, let's just go up and see what other options you have here. Well, if I go into my options menu here, I can set up profiles. Now, the profile list here is where it learns about your voice. So when I enable my voice only, which it said it aggressively reduces all the sound around, it's picking up my voice because I actually record my voice so that it learns my voice. Okay, so it has a reference and says, okay, this is Richard's voice, every other voice I will cut out. So you simply go into register new profile and then you start to do a recording and it knows your voice. Uh, you can test the audio here. Now, recording magic, I think, is where the magic really happens. I like to do a lot of videos outside I have a nice little uh, DJI, uh, small little DJI camera, uh, the Osmo Pocket. And sometimes there's a lot of bird sounds out. So what I can do is uh, I can just upload my recording and then output it. All you do is you just simply browse or you drag a file up here and it will eliminate. And if you want to see how good that is, uh, there is a, a link. You can go to this video here and you will actually hear the difference as well. And then you have notifications. If there's any notifications, you can invite friends here as well. So it's quite easy to use. Oh, hold on. Let me just go to the settings here. So you can change the language of the interface to a different language. Uh, you can launch that system startup. Now you can automatically get it to suppress echo and howling. And if I just put my uh, mouse over it there, it says it estimates and cancels the acoustic path between the microphone and loudspeaker, thus preventing feedback loops and howling. This can cut out any feedback that may be coming in. Uh, volume equalization, it will try and equalize the volume so that it doesn't jump when you actually pitch. The noise reduction I can change here. The uh, noise reduction level I can increase. Okay. And it says here a lower level result in less speech distortion. So if I were to put that up to 97, you should see that there may be a change. If I put the proclaimers back on, it may find it more difficult to get my actual voice clear there. Let me just go back to 25. And then we have some voice effects. Uh, I don't use any of those, to be honest. Premium settings, enhanced noise reduction, room echo removal. The room echo removal, if the room is very echoey, it's like having uh, sound pads on your wall. So let me just put that on and we'll see how it sounds. So. Do you, do you, uh, hear a difference in the sound there with the echo removal or not? Uh, again, it depends on the room that you're actually in. So here you have some privacy settings that will actually give you reports on what apps have been using Crystal Sound. Uh, you can switch those on, switch those off. Tell me what you think about Crystal Sound. Tell me any questions, any other questions that you may have, because 
I'd like to hear those questions. I think if you are not able to get crisp.ai as a lifetime deal, I think Crystal would be a good bet. I think it's something that's going to develop. As I said, when I first got crisp.ai, all it did was um, cancel out the background noise, but now it does so much more. I have high hopes for Crystal Sound, and at the price of the LTD, I think it's well worth it. So go in, grab that, and uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and ring that bell, ding, 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 so that you will be informed the next time I upload a video.